Hi there, I'm Dr. Regina Zona and this is Mindset Monday. Today we're going to talk about limiting beliefs. So perhaps you've heard of a life coach, business coach, Tony Robbins. He defines limiting beliefs as the stories we tell ourselves about who we are that hold us back from becoming who we are meant to be. These beliefs limit us from reaching our full potential. They are often subconscious. We don't even know that we have them until someone points them out to us. So I'm going to tell you about one of my limiting beliefs. When I started Singer Savvy Academy, I had big hopes and dreams about the financial success of this business. But there was always this lingering voice in my head that say, you know, music teachers just don't create seven figure businesses. So, you know, what makes you think that you're going to be the one that's going to be able to do it? This is something that I just kept hearing in my head over and over again. And, you know, that belief came from the lack of models that there are in the teaching world uh, and especially the online space. And the fact that I've never been able to get my private teaching business to even come close to seven figures. So just that empirical evidence, as it were, made that little negative voice in my head louder and louder and louder. But when my rational mind starts to take over, I realize that just because there aren't any other businesses to model this business after doesn't mean it's not a plausible idea. And I believe in my heart and soul that I am truly making a difference in people's lives with what it is that I'm offering. So I spit in the face of that limiting belief on a daily basis. And I just keep going and keep working towards my goal of creating a seven figure business. So we all have limiting beliefs. I want to give you a couple of ways that you can overcome those limiting beliefs. Number one, you have to identify them. Okay, You need to take some time to reflect on the beliefs that are holding you back. If you believe that you're not good enough or smart enough or talented enough to, ch to achieve your goals, or if you're afraid of failure or rejection, you have to identify that because once you identify those limiting beliefs, then you can start working on changing them. So the next step is to challenge those beliefs. Ask yourself if these beliefs are really true. Is there any evidence to support them or are they just assumptions that you've made? Okay. Often our limiting beliefs are based on irrational fears. You've heard me say that before, right? Irrational fears or outdated information. And by challenging those beliefs, you can begin to see that they're not always necessarily accurate. Okay. The next thing that you need to do is you need to change your mindset, right? What is this series called? Mindset Mondays, right? So changing your mindset set is a crucial step in overcoming those limiting beliefs. Instead of focusing on what you can't do, start focusing on what you can do. Adopt that growth mindset that will make you believe that you can learn and grow through your experiences, okay? That will help your mindset change. Number four is perhaps one of the most important things, and that is to take action, okay? You've identified those limiting beliefs, you've challenged them, you have changed your mindset and now 
It's not just enough to say, okay, it's over. Now you actually have to take action to prove to yourself that those beliefs are not true. Okay. I take action every day that I work on my business because I am not allowing my limiting beliefs to squash my dream and goal of making this a seven-figure business. So you need to take action. The last step that I want to leave you with is surround yourself with supportive people. Because, you know, as I said, everybody has limiting beliefs. And oftentimes, if we just keep listening to that voice in our head, it's going to start to make those rational thoughts and our ability to challenge it, those limiting beliefs harder and harder to pay attention to. So if you surround yourself with people that care about you, they can give you some new perspective that can maybe help you get back on the right path and crush those limiting beliefs. So I started this uh, Mindset Monday with a quote by Tony Robbins, and I'm going to finish it with a quote by Tony Robbins. He says, remember, we all get what we tolerate. So stop tolerating excuses within yourself, limiting beliefs of the past, and, or half-assed or fearful states. All right? So... This is Crushing Your Limiting Beliefs Week. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Monday.